One of my favorite things to do, and has always been my favorite thing to do, now I just have an outlet for it, um, is treasure hunting. So I am always on the lookout for antiques or vintage items. I um, go to auctions in person. I look online at auctions literally every day to find neat and unique items to bring to you guys. Um, I've always been a treasure hunter, so I know lots of people who sell antiques. Um, they know what I'm looking for. I just have a lot of fun with it. I feel like antiques and vintage items have such soul to them and um, I enjoy bringing them to you. So I wanted to give you a, a short little tour of what we have in the store now. I hope you enjoy. So this is a really neat vintage trunk. It has the original leather handle on the front has beautiful brass details, even has some old stickers. It's seen a lot of lives. And then I also picked this up yesterday. It's an old uh, jug in the original wood crate. I think that's pretty neat. Right next to it, we have one of our furniture pieces that has been refinished. Pretty neat. We even have smaller items such as this antique wooden bowl that has great texture and patina to it. Pretty neat. Even fun things like these twine and scissor sets. What else do we have? I love me some crates. So we have, I tend to buy crates that are um, scotch or wine related just because of so many of the other things that we carry it kind of goes together and then um, this flower tin it's from an old general store it has such great patina to it as well it's about i'd say three feet tall so it's pretty substantial what else do i want to show you guys i want to show you this solid oak dresser here. So just keep in mind, I mean, this thing is only $325. You can't even get like a cardboard dresser <laughs> for that anymore, right? The furniture that's made now is all MDF and falls apart in a year. So um, this is a mahogany chest of drawers, 1800s. I love the finish on it. Isn't that beautiful? And then one more thing. Um, well, two, I guess. I do have stacks of these vintage and antique books all around the store, different colors and sizes. So that makes it really interesting um, and easy to decorate. And then we have cool copper pieces. I love when I find those at auction. There's a big boy. So it's called a water pitcher, although it doesn't have a spout on it, but that's what I'm told it's called. So that's what I'm going off of. If you guys have any other info on it, I'd love to hear from you because I cannot find a stitch of information online. I do know from looking up past copper pieces that this is, they call it a Dutch um, Delft porcelain. So it's a painted 